Welcome, Happy New Year to the 2015-16 school year. I'm Eddie Ingram, your superintendent, and this is our second virtual convocation. Hope you enjoy the virtual convocations because they protect your classroom time and I know that you like to work in your classrooms. And I'm looking forward with working to working with you each and every one of you. And I also look forward to visiting you in your schools. Let's take a look at what we've accomplished so far this year. First of all, we're going to start with our one-to-one -one technology. Last year, we distributed nearly 600 laptops to high school students and nearly 1,500 iPads to elementary and middle school students. We'll be expanding our one-to-one -one, uh, transformation this year with the hopes of putting devices in every student's hands by the end of 2017-18. It will be a difficult, arduous road, but we're working towards that goal and hope you will uh, join us in that quest. Also, standard space report cards. We started off with about 20 teachers two years ago. We've got nearly 100 teachers, and this year, for the first time, North Hartsville Elementary School will be school-wide with standard space reporting. Folks, this makes sense. It allows us to have richer conversations with parents about the academic progress of their children. So this is something that we'll be matriculating up as we move through the initiative, and it's received very positive feedback from parents and teachers alike. Thanks to all the teachers who are participating in that initiative as well as the administrators who help support the teachers. Robotics. We're doing a great job with robotics folks. We've got classes at Darlington High School, at Hartsville High, uh, Spalding Middle had a great team last year, three teams actually, and we're expanding that program. Brockington Elementary made a great presentation at one of our board meetings. This past summer, we had our first robotics camp that got positive press coverage. And for the first time, Darlington County is hosting the regional robotics competition in December. That event will be held at Darlington Middle School. So we look forward to more schools having uh, teams and a greater robotics presence in Darlington County as we move forward. Also, foreign language. We've hit a couple of snags along the way, but we haven't given up on that initiative. Uh, we had some technological issues last year that, that were not on our end, quite frankly, that was on the end of the vendor, but hopefully they will be resolving those conflicts and will be picking up with foreign language. It's really important for a world-class uh, education system, folks, that we teach foreign language, not just in our high schools, but our middle schools and elementary schools. Why? Some of our own students go home to different languages. Our students go home to 14 different languages right now. That's quite a bit. So in this global world, this global economy that we have, it's important that we have a working knowledge of other languages. Also, I'm proud to report the good progress on the ASCA model, the National Counseling Program. Linda Dvorska is heading that up with some key leaders in the school counseling departments as they develop ASCA model plans to improve counseling uh, services to all of our students. So we'll be continuing to expand that program as well. Also, Hartsville Middle School will be embarking is not just will be embarking, has been embarking and planning for a middle level IB. They went to some more training this past summer in Atlanta and we're looking forward to that planning process as they continue to move towards a pre-IB program in the very near future at Hartsville Middle School. One of our biggest goals is to have every single high school senior graduate from Darlington County Schools with at least one year's worth of college or technical college credit. It's really exciting this year because we have those opportunities at each one of our high schools. Mayo with AP courses, Lamar with dual credit opportunities, Hartsville High School with IB and dual credit opportunities, and the early college program at Darlington High. In fact, this year we're looking forward to some of our seniors at Darlington High School graduating with a two-year college degree and a high school diploma at the same time. That's powerful, folks, and I would love to see those numbers grow, and I know you would as well. So let's continue to encourage our students and look to expand college opportunities for our students. A new initiative, Transform SC. It's been around for a long time, and quite frankly, I think that our district already qualifies to be a part of Transform SC. It's an exciting network of schools and school districts across South Carolina that we have that is underrepresented in the PD area and we look to have schools joining that initiative so I'm asking every principal and every school take on that challenge of becoming a Transform SC school and then perhaps one day soon and a Transform SC district. Transform SC has identified the profile of the 21st century graduate which includes world-class knowledge, rigorous standards in language arts, 
math and career and college ready students, multiple languages, science, technology, engineering, STEM initiatives, and the social sciences, and also world-class skills, folks, creativity, innovation, critical thinking and problem solving, communication, information, media, and technology, and knowing how to learn. How many of us went to college or post-secondary education and didn't really know how to learn? That's something that we have to teach our kids as we move forward uh, in educating them for the 21st century. And also, life and career characteristics, we have to teach our kids integrity, self-direction, the global perspective, perseverance, a strong work ethic, and interpersonal skills. So many people that derail in their careers derail because they lack interpersonal skills. No longer is positional power really recognized. It really depends on our abilities to build relationships with each other. Very important skills. Our goals for 2015-16 and beyond, they really haven't changed since I've been here, but we always want to raise that bar every time. Uh, great world-class school districts are always characterized by continuous improvement no matter how much we've achieved, and we can never rest on our laurels. Not that we haven't done great things because you've accomplished fantastic things, but we want to increase our graduation rate to 95%. We're knocking at the door, folks. We're between 92 and 93%, and I'm confident we can reach 95% this year. With the ultimate goal of being 100%, why would our goal ever be less than 100%? We want every single one of our students to graduate from high school. The next one's challenging. We don't really know what test we'll have this spring. Uh, the RFP has just been put out there for public review. Uh, so how do you hit a target that you don't know yet? Well, we still have to have the goal of increasing our academic achievement by 2%. Standardized testing is a reality. It is how we're judged by our publics and our community. So we always want to have the goal of raising our standardized achievement, whatever that may be, by 2% each and every academic year. This year we want to lower our drop, drop, dropout rate to 0.2% with the ultimate goal of zero. We don't want any dropouts in our school system. We also want to increase the number of our kids graduating with at least some college credit, I've mentioned that earlier, by at least 10%. So we take the number that we have and then we'll increase it by 10% this year and every year thereafter. We want to increase the number of our students taking advanced placement courses and we also want to increase our advanced placement offerings. Having kids taking higher level courses uh, gives them a higher quality education and makes them better prepared for post-secondary education. We want to increase the number of students participating in our International Baccalaureate program and our soon-to-be pre-IB program at Hartsville Middle School. And we also want to focus on underserved populations to make sure we increase those numbers and for students to graduate with an International Baccalaureate diploma. And I'd also like to focus on lowering our out-of-school suspensions by 20%. We can't teach them if we're not here, but in order for students to be successful in school, I refer back to the soft skills, integrity, learning to respect themselves and others, learning a strong work ethic to be on time. These are things that we have to teach our kids over and over and over for them to be successful. If we do that, I'm confident we can lower our out-of-school suspension rates. And as part of our push towards becoming a world-class school district, um, I do want to talk about our capital plan a little bit because it is, it's synchronous with one-to-one -one technology in our digital transformation. Uh, our population in Darlington County, our school population, has decreased over the last 10 or 12 years, and we've got many schools that are, that are smaller. Frankly, folks, it is expensive to run very small schools. So we're looking at our capital plan, which is on the web, to potentially merge some of our elementary schools into slightly larger, but uh, more better staffed elementary schools with assistant principals and, and, con and, and continuous grade levels of, uh, of kindergarten through fifth grade or first grade through fifth grade so that there can be vertical planning. These plans make sense, and if we have fewer buildings to take care of, we can certainly save money and put towards technology and other uh, academic improvements that we so desperately need. So, it's going to be busy, it's going to be exciting, and I want to share with you some summer reading that our school board 
and our principals and other leaders at the district level have been embarking on. It is Mark Edwards' book, Every Child Every Day. Every Child Every Day is about a digital conversion in a nearby school district, Mooresville Graded School District in Charlotte, North Carolina. But if you ever read the book, it is much more than just a digital conversion. It is about culture, school culture, district culture the perseverance, the determination that the kids that we serve will succeed through the use of technology. If we graduate students without digital skills, we are doing them a disservice. So this is a direction that I firmly believe that we need to pursue. Uh, as one school board member mentioned, we might not be first, but we'll be definitely on the bow of the ship leading the direction, not just in the state of South Carolina, but in the nation. So get ready for a great ride. It's going to be exciting. It is my wish for you that you serve your children well, have a great school year, and that all of your professional goals be achieved. I look forward to working with you. I look forward to greeting each and every one of you at some time during the year in your classrooms. And please, if I can ever be assistance to you, come by my office. Call Ms. Funderburk for an appointment. You're welcome to drop by. I just want to make sure I'm here to greet you. So it's always an advantage to call to make sure that you have a specified time. I will give you all the time you need, listen to your concerns, and together we'll roll up our sleeves and make a better tomorrow for our kids. Thanks and have a great school year.